Okay, today we are going to have a look at the posterior palatal seal area. Posterior palatal seal area is an is an area that is developed on the soft palate. If the phone will, the soft palate. Okay, so this is the hard palate, and the soft palate is attached to the posterior part of the hard palate. The important landmarks that you want to look at here. If the phone. And what we want to look at here is the fovea palatine that you see here. The fovea, okay. And of course, the hamular notches. Relax, relax. The hamular notches. We have a hamular notch here. Okay. You identify the hamular notch using an instrument called the T burnisher. This is a T burnisher. The T burnisher has a ball end and a flat end. You want to use the ball end towards the cheek so you don't hurt the patient. Palpating down the ridge till it comes to a tuberosity and then it falls in. Falls into a depression or a notch called the hamular notch. So you mark your hamular notch. Okay. And then you mark the hamlet notch on the other side as well. Three years, sir. Three years, sir. Yes. So again, the ball towards the cheek, come along the ridge, and then it falls in. This is the hamlet notch. So you want to mark the hamlet notch. So now, if the ah, yeah. If you see this, you can see. Okay, hello. You can see that I have marked the hamular notches and the fovea palatine. When the patient says, ah, you're looking for the point or the junction between the slightly movable and the more movable part of the soft palate. The posterior palatine area is always developed in the soft palate. And the posterior vibrating line is the junction between the slightly movable and the more movable part of the soft palate. It is not the junction between the hard and the soft palate because the junction between the hard and soft palate is not compressible. Gulha. So, Gulha. You see this area is moving a lot and this area seems to be moving a little. Gulha. So the junction between the more moving and the slightly moving seems to be here. Huh? Uh, you see that? Uh, uh, Slightly posterior, uh, about one to two millimeters posterior. Uh, uh, you see? Okay. So that should be clear enough. This is the posterior vibrating line. Now, you know in the center we have the mid palatine raphe, which is a relief area and comes down till here where you have the fovea palatine. Once you reach the fovea, you know that it's draining in from the soft palate region. So from the midline, using the ball end, I use the bigger ball end, using the ball end, if you compress to the side, you will see that there is a compressible area here. This area is compressible. This is not. This is not. This is compressible. If I move forward, or rather move anteriorly, you find that the compressibility stops here. This is quite compressible. The compressibility reduces here. So, I have an area that is like this, which is compressible, and beyond which it gets difficult to compress. Here also you see from the midline, if you go to the side, you see this area is compressible, but here it's not compressible. This area, again marking it. The reason I'm not marking the center, which is also slightly compressible, is because that is the mid palatine region and you have the posterior nasal spine. I don't want to put pressure into that region at all. So this area and this area. This line is the anterior vibrating line. And this area between the anterior and posterior vibrating line is called the posterior palatal seal area. The posterior palatal seal area, of course, is 
divided into two. This being the pterygo maxillary seal because the hamlet notch is also called pterygo maxillary notch. And the part that is exactly in the palatal region is called the post palatal seal. Both together, the pterygo maxillary seal along with the post palatal seal is called the posterior palatal seal. So the seal will actually extend from here, go include all of this, come here, include all of this, and come over to the other side. The entire seal will be like that. This seal, when developed, will aid retention by closing the periphery of the denture in the posterior region of the mouth. All right? Is that clear? Okay. Thank you.